Hello students. Today in this video, we will discuss the subject enrichment activity 2 for class 10 mathematics. The objective of this activity is to obtain the conditions for consistency of a system of linear equations in two variables by graphical method. The material required for this activities are graph papers to plot the graphs, adhesive for pasting the graph and some stationary item, pen, pencil and rubber. So before starting the procedure, let us quickly recall what we have discussed in class. So we know that when we represent a pair of linear equations on a graph, one of the following three possibilities can happen. See, so case one is when the two lines are intersecting at one point. In such case, you will have unique or one solution. Case two, when the two lines are coinciding, right? And in that case, you will have infinite number of solution. And case three is when the pair of two lines are parallel to each other. In that case, you will have no solution. So now let us start with the procedure. For case 1, we will consider these two equations, right? So for all the three cases, we will consider pair of linear equation. We will plot them on graph and check the consistency, right? A pair of linear equation is consistent when it has a solution, be it unique or infinitely many. And if it is not having any solution, in that case, your system will be inconsistent. So, case 1 mein humare paas ye do equation hai. So, we will plot these. First of all, let us calculate the solution table for equation 1, x and y. Let us simplify this equation 1 here. x is equal to 2y. Or I can write x by 2 is equal to y. So if I put x equal to 0, the value of y will be 0. Right? Now if x is equal to 2, the value of y will be 1. Right? See y is equal to x by 2. So if I put x is equal to 2, then value of y will be 2 by 2 and this will give me 1. Right now, if I put x equal to 4, the value of y will be 2. Right? Similar, in the similar way, we can find the solution table for equation number 2. So, you can once again simplify it or just put the values and solve. For x equal to 0, if I put x equal to 0 here, you will get 4y equal to 20 or you can further simplify it as y equal to 20 by 4 that will give me 5. Right? Now, if you put y equal to 0, you will get x equal to 20 by 3. Now, such points are difficult to plot on graph. So, let us quickly find one more solution. Say x equal to 4. So, for x equal to 4, we will get 12 plus 4y equal to 20. This will Give me 20 minus 12. This further implies y will be equal to 20 minus 12 is 8 by 4. 4 to the 8. So the value of y will be 2. Right? Now let us plot these points on graph and you will get something like this. Okay, 
uh, in class we have already learned theoretically how you can check whether the lines will be intersecting or not you can also cross check that and verify right so since these two lines are intersecting each other at this point q4 comma 2 it is having unique solution right now let us move on to case 2 for case 2 consider these two equations right and in the similar manner let us find the solution table for equation 1 x and y now, if I put x equal to 0, value of y will be 3, right? And if I put y equal to 0, the value of x will be, you can calculate it, it will be 9 by 2 or you can write it as 4.5. Let x is equal to 3. Then in that case, 2, 3 is a 6 plus 3y equal to 9. This implies 3y equal to 9 minus 6, 3. This implies the value of y will be 1. So for x equal to 3, the value of y is 1. So this is the solution table for equation 1. Now in a similar manner, let us find the solution table for equation for x equal to 0, the value of y will be, yes, 6, 3 is the 18, 3. And for y equal to 0, the value of x will be, uh, I guess this will be in fraction. For y equal to 0, this will be 4x equal to 18. So, x equal to 18 by 4. 2 9 is 18, 2 2 is 4, 9 by 2 that means you will get 4.5. Now let us check another value. Say for x equal to 3. So x equal to 3 that is 4 3 is 12 plus 6y equal to 18. If x equal to 3. For equation 2 this will give me 6y equal to 18 minus 12 is 6. So, this implies y is equal to 1. So, value of y is 1. Now, we will plot these two solution table on graph and you will get something like this. So, you can clearly see here that both these lines are coinciding, right? So, in this case, we will have infinitely many solution. Infinitely many solution. Now, let us move on to case 3. In case 3, let us consider these two pair of linear equation. So, for case 1, let us find the solution table x and y. I can simplify it further as x plus 2y equal to 4 right so for for x equal to 0 the value of y will be 2 for y equal to 0 the x of value will be 4 now let us find one more value if i take x equal to 2 then the value of y will be 1 this will be 2y equal to 2 this implies y is equal to 1 right now let us find the solution table for second equation this one x and y let me simplify this here 2x plus 4y is equal to 12 right now for x equal to 0 the value of y will be 4 3 is a 12 3 for y equal to 0 the value of x will be 6 2 6 is a 12 and further let us find one more value so let us take for the third case x equal to 4 for x equal to 4 i will get 8 plus 4y equal to 12 this implies 4y equal to 
12 minus 8 is 4. So this will give me y equal to 1, right? So for x equal to 4, the value of y will be 1. Now let us plot these two solution table and graph and you will get something like this, right? So let us tabulate our observation, right? You can algebraically check also that without representing it in graph that whether the lines will be intersecting or coinciding or parallel lines, right? So for all the three cases, we know when the lines are intersecting, it will have unique or one solution for coinciding lines there will be infinitely many solution and for parallel lines there will be no solution right since there is no solution for parallel lines here the system will be inconsistent and in the above two cases the, your system will be consistent since they have solution so your final result is in this activity, we have learned that if the lines represented by the pair of linear equations of the form a1x plus b1y plus c1y equal to 0 and second pair of linear equation that is a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 are intersecting, then a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. These are the coefficients coincident then the ratio of these coefficient will be equal and for parallel lines a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. The pair of linear equations is consistent for intersecting and coincident lines because intersecting lines have unique solutions and coincident have many solutions, infinitely many solutions. Whereas the pair of linear equation is inconsistent for parallel lines because it has no solution. Right? So, thank you everyone for watching this video. Keep learning.